Hi. Evolution has gifted us with the ability to detect danger and safety. And this gift is one of the main reasons when we've been able to survive for millennia. It also, evolution has also gifted us with the ability to have a strong reaction to when we perceive danger. And these are the five defensive, protective, or survival states that all mammals exhibit. So we're not alone with this. You may very well have heard of fight, flight, maybe even freeze. But have you heard about attach? Attach is one of the five defensive states. When uh, fighting or running isn't an option, and freezing isn't something we either can do or will improve the situation. This is another avenue. And in attach, all of the energy is going towards craving, seeking, inviting the other to save you. If I'm in attach, I'm going to be sad, I'm going to be pleading. I'm going to be maybe whining a little bit. I'm going to be desperate. I'm going to be so unsettled inside, so overwhelmed with feelings of danger. I just need you to help me feel OK. For many of us, we can see examples of attach in young children or in puppies, the way that they look at us, cry, whine, and are desperate for our attention and for our helping them meet their needs of being fed or changed or taken out. Adults may notice this in relationships with someone who's narcissistic. Certain numbers of people who also have narcissistic personality disorder or narcissistic tendencies tend to also have this desperation for being attached to a caretaker. And absolutely, as if their life depended on it, they need that caretaker to always be showing up. And they feel entitled to this, demanding of this. Sometimes, if you're the child of a narcissist, you may have also noticed that you uh, visited this state at times because you felt dependent on the parent. And the parent could easily forget about you at times. If they were narcissistic, they could get so caught up in their own stuff. So the attach energy in you may have come out to plead with them, please help me, please see that I need you. The inner state of someone who is in attach is very dysregulated. They're anxious, they're sad, they're desperate, they're afraid, they're panicking. They feel totally unsafe. And the only thing that is going to save them is someone else. And that's why attach has a very strong survival value, because, of course, we, we can survive better with others than alone. The more helpless or dependent we are, the more we rely on attach state dynamics. And if you've had trauma in your background, then there's a likelihood you may have also experienced either your parents exhibiting um, attached states, or you yourself experiencing them at times, too. If there's trauma-based attached states that are going on, you'll find that it takes very little to initiate this, like a new relationship. Some trauma survivors I've, I've worked with are totally fine until they begin to get in a relationship and actually start caring about the other person. And then once they start caring about the other person, the person matters to them, then the only thing they're concerned about is attaching to that person and having that person securely attached back to them. They lose sight of everything else to maintain at all costs attachment. They forget what they might need or want and instead only care about is the other person attached to me? Is the other person caring about me? Are they coming to save me? 
This is exhausting. And this gets in the way of us living an authentic life, a, a real life where we're in touch with what we need and want. Remember, if you're inattached, you're going to be dysregulated a lot of the time and dependent on someone else, someone outside of you to regulate you. And while co-regulation, that's regulation between people, is a great thing, your real freedom can be experienced when you also know how to regulate yourself, how to self-regulate. Some of the biggest findings we've got from our work with trauma over the past 10 or 15 years has been that it's been these defensive states that stay in a stuck in the on position way that maintains or intensifies suffering for trauma survivors. Learning how to identify the state that you're in and learning how to free yourself to shift out of that state and into a more grounded, regulated state gives you both freedom and helps your nervous system not feel so activated, so overwhelmed, so frightened all the time. So the work to do this takes energy, but the rewards are unbelievable because you can actually have your life without being enslaved to these different states that seem to pop, out, pop up out of nowhere. If you would like to learn how to truly navigate your nervous system, how to embody safety, to feel it inside of you, and how to be a healing presence for others, check out our course. I hope to see you there.